Calibrating your iTech template cutter is an important part of producing an accurate template. Calibration validates that the cutter is cutting accurate lengths on both the X and Y axis. The iTech template cutter is calibrated to 144 inches during final test procedures. For the sake of demonstration purposes, we will be using a 48 inch by 24 inch rectangle to check the calibration of the cutter on its X and Y axes. It is important to note that the material moves through the machine on the x-axis while the cutting head moves on the y-axis. First, spool off enough material to run the calibration from the rear of the machine to assure the cutter is not pulling from the roll itself. Once you have spooled off enough material, press the load button on the control panel on the machine. The load button will put the cutter into cutting mode. Next, simply open the iTech Remote Panel Program and select Calibration Square Plot from the Diagnostics menu. Enter an X-drawn length of 48 inches, hit the OK button, and enter a Y-drawn length of 24 inches. Press OK and the cutter will cut a 48 inch by 24 inch rectangle. Once the rectangle is cut, use the up arrow on the joystick pad to spool the material out almost a foot beyond the cut rectangle. Using a knife or scissors, cut that material off. Find an area big enough to measure your rectangle and lay the material flat on the surface. Using the tape measure, measure the rectangle as accurately as possible. If the rectangle measurements end up being anything other than 48 inches by 24 inches, record those measurements and reinstall the cut piece of template material into the cutter. If the measurements are exactly 48 by 24 inches, your cutter is in calibration and you can forego the following steps. Once you have reinstalled the cut piece of template material, open the Calibration 07 under the Diagnostics menu in the remote panel. In the X drawn field, type in 48.000, and in the X measured field, type in your recorded measurement. Do the same for the Y axis. Once you have entered your measurements, press OK, and a dialog box will appear displaying the percentage of change in both the X and Y axis. Press OK and the new calibration constants will be sent to the cutter. It is recommended to repeat this process once more to ensure the calibration is correct. 